Batter up, sports card fans. No, today is not opening day. It's Sunday fun day. But we are going to be opening possibly our only box. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our only box of this this year. Um, I found this at Target. It was retail. And I said, you know what? Let's give it a shot now. The reason why I say possibly is because I'm probably just going to buy singles of the cards that I want. But one of the cards, one of the things that I love to collect out of this are the uh, foils, the blue foils. This is like a, this box is packed in. Holy moly. How many are, oh my goodness. How many are in here? What are there, like seven cards per pack? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous! I didn't know anything about this. 20 packs. Plus two. Really? Is that necessary? Plus two extra packs? Unbelievable. Look at this. Well, it's for kids. And so they're like, hey, you know what? Kids are going to want to open up a bunch of packs. And that's true. Even for adults, it's fun to open up these packs. So I remember opening day always just being a weirdly hard to open up. So anyway... Um, the biggest thing for me is, um, obviously you could see they all have the opening day, uh, logo on them. These are cool. I really like these. Um, those look really nice. The first thing you can tell is just by touching them. It's just a, just a slightly thinner stock. So it's really tough, uh, really tough to, to get like a quality card. Now the border absolutely helps out because the one thing that really cost uh, Luis Robert his short print year was they had the, uh, they had the non-border. So every little scruff on that card showed up and that's why that card is so tough to gem. But speaking of which, that's why I'm a little hesitant to like buy all in on this because uh, there's nothing to really chase this year, Bomb Squad. A couple nice inserts, like, you know, the, these kind of inserts. Devers, love that. Great, uh, great card. I like that some of the cards have different images on them. You know, that's really fun because you're actually like able to like get a little bit of a different view. Um, but uh, I really liked how Shohei Otani's rookie year he had his base, uh, special base card that you were chasing. Um, as you all remember from this channel, if uh, <laughs> if you are OGs, uh, I hate this because this counts as a card, right? It does. This counts as a card, and it should not. But I always hate this about opening day, is that they count this as a card. Really annoying. Clark... Uh, I have a friend who collects all the mascots from these years, so I'll always put those aside for him. I still owe him from 2020, from when I opened up all of those boxes. But check out up here, you can get like a little bit of a, a glimpse as to, to what G-Dubs was all about. At the, at the early stages of his opening, he was all about this guy. If I saw this name in 2020, I would have gone nuts. Uh, to date, I still haven't pulled it myself. Hey, there we go, Bomb Squad. Uh, David Ortiz, that's nice. Nice little PC one, Alec Baum, Luis Robert. If I saw that guy in 2020, I would have opened a lot less of this. <laughs> but I was all about it, and uh, so I like that little chase. It, it's nice, because it's a cheap product. Product lets you kind of rip through a ton of them, and, uh, you know, it's fun. It, it really is. There is, oh, 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 nice. Look at these. I do like these. And that's on a regular, that's on a regular cardstock, you can tell. So these are really cool, uh, a little off center there, but it it's a nice throwback to the NBA cards. I like those. Um, but the biggest cards that we're chasing here that I still have not seen as I throw this pack are the foils. I want a few foils, and I'll show you why. So that's something to still be excited about. And if you can get the Wander as a foil, that that would be... That's what I really want. I really want... Obviously, I want just a regular... I'm hoping to just pull a regular Wander because I don't want to have to buy 
more of this. <laughs> but um, getting a Wander Foil would be the absolute um, best part. There we go. Billy the Mar Marlin. Brandon Lau. Kyber Ruiz. So, and I'm assuming Wander is in the blue foil because it says it's got all the cards there. Um, but he does have a image variation, which is cool. So that's one to, to possibly chase, which would be nice. And I would hope Babe Ruth, very nice. Always nice when you can pull a Babe Ruth card. Logan Gilbert. Uh, it would be very nice if they flipped over the image variations. Because otherwise, I might just rifle right by some. But uh, they're pretty rare, like everything. Um, you know, everything this year, it's going to be rare. Seeger, Screech. Oh! 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 Didn't get it. There's the Corbin Burns, but I don't know if that's the same in this one. The Corbin Burns was the telltale sign in Hobby, but it looks like retail is not the case. Although, from what I've seen, if you pull a Corbin Burns, then the next pack, it's usually on top, which is nice. Look at that. Nice to see Sammy Sosa making a comeback in tops. Uh, he kind of got exiled there for a little bit. And it's kind of it's kind of annoying when someone like Sammy so it's because he got popped. This one seems kind of thick, or it's kind of heavy, I should say. Um, obviously, he got popped multiple times for cheating, and that that hurts. It's like Manny Ramirez; you get exiled. Um, Kelnick, and then we get the Chicago Cubs opening day. That one's cool. Joe Adele, very nice. Um, John Gray was that one. And Kelnick, that's right. Um, but yeah, he just got completely eliminated. And same thing with Manny Ramirez. They're both making kind of comebacks now. Manny was uh, featured in the uh, Topps uh, All-Star Rookie Cup. So that was really nice to see that. Um, and so we'll have to see Jake Berger. And look at this one. This is a nice one. This is really cool. I like these inserts. And this one's a lot better uh, centered. Very, very nice. Still a little off, but that's cool. Those are really cool set uh, cards. So I'll definitely have to pick up the Red Sox one of that. And then that would be nice to get a Wander of that one too. But uh, I can't get too greedy. I want the foil and I want a base. That's, that's what I want out of here. And whether that happens, we'll see. Yeah, there's the base. There we go. Yes. And it's in pretty good condition. This top corner is just a little bit curved but that's all right we can probably fix that a little g-dubs book pressure that's what we do and then look at this one look at that one that's awesome what a pack that's great ben attendee look at that kansas city monarchs that's cool all right, so we got the base. That's huge. Super excited. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, let's pull a foil. We haven't gotten any foils. Now, the foils, unlike 2020, where they were pretty uh, prevalent, I should say, um, these ones, the foils, are kind of like gold. They're numbered out of the year, so 2022. So, I don't know if that means... I didn't look at the odds for them. Uh, I can actually grab the box here in a second. Let's take a quick look at the odds. But uh, the fact that we haven't seen any and we are... Oh, and here's one. Doesn't look like the guy we want. It's not. Max Kepler. But now you can see the reason why I want these. Look at that. That date, not valid. Not valid at all. And... Uh, and that's kind of why I think it might be worth something. It's kind of the same. Didn't really turn out to be too much. Um, but 2020, that date was also missed. And I just think those are the oddball kind of things that I love to collect. I love that. They're like mistakes. But they're like oddball mistakes. And, uh, and I like that. Um, so I'm certainly going to go ahead. And there's a Bruhan. We'll put him with Josiah Gray. 
Hank Aaron, Bobby Dahlbeck. I'm absolutely going to grab one for Jaron Duran, because I feel like I can get that pretty cheap. Um, because that'll be cool to have a Red Sox one of that. Clement, Luke Williams, Cousins. Cousins is a nice one. Slider. Ooh, I might have been, now that I'm just realizing now, I might have been slacking on some of the uh, mascots. I might not have put them away. I'll have to go back through those. Boy, this is a lot. I was I was expecting a quick little Sunday rip. I didn't didn't realize there was 20, 20 packs in these. Ronald Acuna Jr. Would love an image variation. Um, but admittedly, I haven't been paying full attention. So unless it is backwards, I could have missed it. But... I don't think we'll be that lucky, but we'll see. We have four packs left. Let's see what we could do. Lars, Newt Bar, Alonzo, Hap. There we go. Any trout is a good trout. Kershaw, Ramirez, Olsen. So many new players on new teams, as is the case every year. But this year, just uh, this past week, ever since the lockout was lifted. Whew. Moving fast and furious. It's usually how it happens. There's usually one guy to... Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's awesome. Acuna Jr., Vladdy Jr., Tatis Jr. That is incredible. That's a great card. Oh, I love that. Buster Posey. Why does Buster Posey have a card? Come on. Chris Sale, that's a nice one. Nice one for my PC. Berrios, Shohei, Giancarlo, Muncy, McCutcheon, Goldschmidt. All right, last pack. Can we get the magic in here? Can we, you know what? Let's take a look real quick. All right, here we go. The uh, Parallels Opening Day Edition is 1 in 19. So I'm assuming that is the uh, the blue foil. I'm assuming. That's what they're calling that. So 1 in 19. So you're guaranteed 1, essentially. But uh, not more than that. So let's see if we can beat the odds. Let's see if we can pull two foils out of this. Get a little lucky. Let's see. We, oh, there we go, right off the bat. So we're gonna, we're not getting a foil. So we're gonna, we're gonna preemptively do this. But very happy to get that Duran. That's great. Pete the Parrot, Mount Castle, Joey Bart, Future Stars, very cool, and McGill. So there you have it. Not a bad lineup here for opening day. Not bad. Obviously wish the blue foil was better. Um, but you get Burger. I think the only one we really were missing was Marsh. Um, very happy about those two. And I think the, the cards that stole the show, obviously this one is just unbelievable. That's a great card. And again, they're thicker, so they're, they're nicer. And then this one as well is just great. And then it's kind of cool because Tatis gets a, a different... Uh, different image on this so he's got two two images out of this which is cool so then we got a Dodgers one as well with Bellinger Betts and Kershaw so that's nice that they didn't put Scherzer on there so that's very very cool thank you so much for joining me today make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel click the little bell icon so you get notified every single time we post a daily video and comment down below what you're most excited for for opening day. For for me personally, it will be our second annual pack opening day. See what I did there? Um, and that's going to be a great one. Essentially, it's a it's a rookie chase blown out. Uh, think Rip's giving, but we do it twice a year. So um, very, very excited to do that. And so look out for that on April 7th, which is when we will have Red Sox Yankees for the first time, which is great. What a great opening day. Um, and, uh, and then when you're done with all of that previously stated, uh, contract stuff, uh, head on over to Instagram and Twitter at GW's collects. Give me a follow there. I appreciate it and keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting.